Hello friends, it's Jim O'Rear. Welcome back to Jim O'Rear's Wacky World. It is Juneteenth, also known as Freedom Day. And we are at the historic L.B. Brown House in Bartow, Florida, which was designed, built, and everything by a former slave. Tons and tons of history at this house. You can find out more about it on their website. Definitely check it out. See how you can come get a tour of it and, uh, and take a look at this historic property in Bartow, Florida. But we are going to go inside and give you just a brief little look at some of the stuff you can experience. We're not going to show you everything because we want you to be surprised when you come here. But uh, come on inside the historic L.B. Brown House with us. This is the historic L.B. Brown House in Bartow. And this house is probably as significant historically to the United States as it is to Bartow. It's an incredible home that uh, Lawrence Bernard Brown uh, designed and built. He was born into slavery in 1856. And uh, <clears throat> when the Civil War ended uh, and he got a little older, he educated himself on uh, a lot of uh, building practices and different businesses and things like that. It's, it's a really incredible story. My name is Clifton Lewis. I'm the director of the historic L.B. Brown House Museum and the president of the nonprofit corporation that owns the house. The house is located at 470 L.B. Brown Avenue, Bartow, Florida. The house was built in 1892 by a man named Lawrence Bernard Brown. Mr. Brown was built before the Civil War in 1856 near Gainesville. He came to Bartow sometime in the 1880s, acquired a small piece of land, he and his mother, and then proceeded to build this little mansion for his family. In addition to building this little two-story mansion, Mr. Brown built approximately 40 or 50 rental houses throughout East Bartow. Although he was born in slavery in 1856 with nothing, by the time of his death, it is estimated that he would work well over a half a million dollars. 1941. This 1892 house is a two-story home. It has four bedrooms, a parlor, a living room, dining room, kitchen, and a bath. The intricate millwork and beautiful gingerbread trim and outstanding craftsmanship are apparent throughout the house, inside and out. And the foundation, it's built up on 18 tree logs that are 100 plus years old. And you can see them down in here when you look underneath the floor. You can also see them from outside the house, holding up the house. And it's just, it's an amazing foundation with these old logs. He and his wife, Annabelle, had seven children. Interesting to note that those otherwise healthy children produce only one grandchild. And that grandchild died several years ago having no children. So there are no more direct descendants of Lawrence Brown. And to be self-taught, I, I mean, in, in design and building, you can look at cutouts in the walls and just see the structure that's still holding up, the horsehair remnants and things like that. They make it a sturdy structure, original wallpapers and things, and just tons and tons and tons of antique items. Many that belong to, to the Brown family. Some of them were, were donated, but uh, most of them are, uh, or a lot of them are, are original items, uh, such as uh, the handle to his umbrella right here. Look at that. That's, that's very, very cool. Um, also, his pocket watch. It's got his initials right there inside. And I mean, this is I mean, this is 1800s pocket watch. Look at how, how cool is that, right? And, uh, you know, a hand mirror that they used. It's, it's amazing. Um, even original ledgers that he kept track of all his business dealings in with his, his real estate and his Bible repairs and things like that. Uh, they also hold a, a festival every year in February. The L.B. Brown Festival is held the second week in February, Saturday and Sunday. It features vendors from all over the United States. Um, we have storytellers, live entertainment, um, food vendors, craft vendors, um, just a host of welcoming 
the community of Bartow and visits the surrounding Polk County in Florida. And this was our 24th year and we had a great time. We feature local um, people from the community that we highlight and pay recognition to their accomplishments to the community and to the state of Wales. Um, it's just a good time for fellowship and relaxing and enjoyment throughout those two days. In addition to hosting this festival, we showcase and allow visitors to walk through and view this beautiful, magnificent home that was built by this former slave and how he was able to make this a centerpiece for Polk County and the city of Bartow. If you're interested in coming to the museum, you can call or email us to schedule an individual tour, group tour, organization tour, private tours. We are open. We do our tours by appointments. You can give us a call, area code 863-330-3122, or you can email us at lbbrownmuseum at yahoo.com. There you go. That is a look inside the historic L.B. Brown house here in Bartow, Florida. Amazing, amazing house with tons of history. Definitely check out their website. See how you can come out here and tour the house and look at the property. Also check out their festival that they have in February. It is a major piece of history sitting here in Bartow, Florida, not far from the major theme parks. So make sure you check it out. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you have, click that like button to let the powers that be know that you like the video. And while you're at it, click on follow or subscribe, and you'll be notified when I upload new videos. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time.